Hello everyone, welcome to topic of the day. In this edition, we shall be discussing about the urban heat islands. Now recently we have come across heat waves a lot and urban heat islands escalate the warming of a weather. Let us discuss about the urban heat islands. They are the metropolitan areas that are significantly warmer than the surrounding rural areas. Now it occurs when cities replace natural land cover with dense concentrations of pavement buildings and other surfaces that absorb and retain the heat if we talk about the possible causes first of all the usage of too much concrete and cement in a limited space as they absorb a lot of heat from the sun thus increasing the mean surface temperature of pockets in urban areas secondly buildings with dark surfaces reduce the albedo and increase the heat absorption now what is an albedo Albedo is an expression of the ability of a surface to reflect sunlight or we can say heat from the sun. For example, light colored surfaces return a large part of the sun rays back to the atmosphere. Therefore, we call it a high albedo whereas dark surfaces absorb the rays from the sun and we call it a low albedo. And therefore, the buildings with dark surfaces increases the heat absorption. Thirdly, cooling required from air conditioning consumes a great amount of energy from power plants and air conditioners emit hot air thus causing more pollution also we have massive transportation systems which produces a great amount of heat in addition there is a lack of tree covers that prevents evaporation and transpiration shade and removal of carbon dioxide let us now talk about the impact the urban heat island effect increases the energy cost air pollution levels and heat related illness this also leads to global warming also the pollution in the region makes water bodies polluted further on cities with uhis face heat waves and affect human and animal health now if we talk about the mitigation measures first of all covering the roofs of the buildings with plants that can help in cooling the building secondly having more tree cover reduces the number of greenhouse gases in the region and increases evaporation and transpiration thus keeping the region cool also we have to adhere to environmentally sustainable solutions like green building code which makes the building more eco friendly now let us take up a practice question on this topic which of the following are responsible for formation of the urban heat islands the first one usage of too much concrete and cement in a limited space second massive transportation systems and third paucity of tree covers select the correct answer using the codes given below you can write your answers in the comment section so as we know the correct answer is d that is that is all the three factors are responsible for causing urban heat islands well that's a wrap of today's edition of topic of the day we'll see you with more such videos till then take care and do stay tuned Yeah. <laughs>